This year it's really been my personal mission to make my health, both mental and physical, my top priority in life. So I have really been putting in the research, trying to figure out what is the optimal plan, like the optimal daily routine that I can be doing to ensure both my physical and mental health. So I thought it would be really fun if I did a video sharing with you guys everything that I've been doing or everything that I try to do, okay? I'm not perfect. I do not do all of this stuff every day, but these are things that I try to do every day to ensure that I am in good shape. So this one is a little bit of a no-brainer, but making sure that you're getting seven to eight hours of sleep every night is a huge one. About what, Boogie, would you say 20 hours if you're a cat? <laughs> Sleep is so important because it gives the body time that it needs to rejuvenate, to heal, and recent studies have even shown that if you are battling any kind of mental illness, that sleep is especially important. This is something that I just recently started doing, and I can't decide if it's doing anything for me or not, but it only takes a minute, so it's kind of like, might as well give it a shot. So basically, what you do is Look at yourself in the mirror and just say something positive about yourself and about what you want to achieve for that day. So I look at myself and I say, Kalel, you are beautiful, you are powerful, you are talented, and you're gonna kill it today. You're gonna get all of your work done and then at the end of the day, you're gonna lay on the sofa with Buki, binge watch TV, and just know that you lived your best life today. <laughs> It's a little cheesy, but you know what? It only takes a minute, and if, if there's even a 10% chance that it works, worth it. So back in 2015, I fell into a really dark, deep state of depression, and one of the only things that helped me kind of feel light again was studying Buddhism. I read about four or five books on Buddhism. It totally caused a shift in my perspective on life and naturally because i was really interested in buddhism i became really interested in meditation so to this day i like to do a guided meditation every single morning only takes five minutes and i just find that it really helps me start my day feeling a little bit more calm and clear-minded I'm sure you guys at this point have all heard about the intermittent fasting trend, which essentially means that every day you don't eat anywhere from like 12 to 18 hours. And I know it sounds a little crazy if you're not familiar with this trend, um, but it's not about calorie restriction. It's about consuming your calories in a tighter time frame and therefore giving your digestive system a large break because most people don't realize this, but your digestive system is taking up the fine majority of your energy. It takes so much energy to break down food in the body. So, and, the, and these days, you know, we're not really ever giving that system a break. It is running 24 hours a day, every single day, because we are snacking before bed, eating something the second we wake up. And even if we're not hungry, we're, we're just eating so much. It's a very like, eating has become a very huge part of culture culture and so intermittent fasting is all about giving your system a break it's not about again it's not about calorie restriction you can still consume just the same amount of calories that you normally do you just have to eat much bigger meals and then therefore your system gets a nice little break so i personally do a 12 hour fast every single day so it means i stop eating at 10 p.m i don't eat again until 10 a.m sometimes even noon so i'll do like a 12 to 14 hour depending on my vibe or if i'm hungry when i wake up i just listen to my body you know so uh, it's really not hard, basically just pushing back breakfast. I know everybody says breakfast is the most important meal of the day, but science is suggesting otherwise. These days for breakfast, I am usually pretty lazy and I just opt for a huge avocado. But one thing that's very trendy right now that I've been trying to implement into my diet every single day are mushrooms. Yes, mushrooms. So I watched this documentary on the power of mushrooms. It's called Super Fun Guy, if you guys wanna watch it. Um, and it just like, I don't know, I'm just obsessed now. I'm so fascinated by mushrooms and all of their powers. And 
It's something that we've been consuming since the beginning of time. Literally, mushrooms have been a food source for humans for ever. And I just think there's so many magical properties to them. Stress relief, immunity support, cognitive enhancement. I'm just so fascinated by everything that mushrooms can do. They're extremely underrated. Now I realize that not everyone is a mushroom person. Some people think the texture is just not the best. I get that, but you're missing out on a lot of benefits by not having mushrooms be a part of your daily diet. So luckily there is a solution here. Today's sponsor, Four Sigmatic, they make a wide range of products that makes getting in your daily dose of mushrooms a breeze. They have mushroom coffee, they have mushroom matcha. So even if you don't like mushrooms due to the texture, you can still get them into your daily diet in a very quick, easy, and enjoyable way. Two of my favorite products from Four Sigmatic are the Mushroom Hot Cacao Mix and the Mushroom Coffee Mix. They come in these cute little packets. You guys have probably seen these at Whole Foods or maybe like some other health stores that are near you. So cute, you literally just rip the top off and pour it into some hot water and let it dissolve and then you have yourself a little drink. This is also something really handy to throw in your bag if you just, you know, you're out and about, you're at a friend's house, whatever, you just want a little relaxing drink that has some health benefits, great. And if you wanna get really creative with the coffee one, you could even brew it and then make a frap out of it. So maybe add some coconut milk, a little bit of vanilla, pop it in a blender with some ice. Yes. However, if you're an overachiever like me, you're gonna wanna go for this guy right here. This is the Superfood Blends 10 Mushroom Blend. So if I have this for breakfast, I will usually just pour a spoonful of it into my smoothie. So I'll do like a, an avocado, cacao powder, frozen banana, a little bit of almond milk, and have kind of like a chocolate shake smoothie. Um, but if I'm too busy and I don't put it into my morning smoothie and I just have my standard avocado, I will sprinkle this into my other food. So maybe like in my soup or in my casserole, something more savory because it does taste really good in that as well. So if you guys would like to try out Four Sigmatic for yourselves, they are offering anyone who's watching this video 15% off of your first order. All you have to do is click on the link in the description below. B12 is very, very, very important, especially if you are vegan or plant-based because B12 is a byproduct of bacteria that is typically found in soil, but soil is very depleted these days, so it is kind of hard to get B12 in modern day life. So you have to make sure that you are supplementing with it. I like using it in liquid form. Oh my God, girl, this is vegan. Hold on. Okay, uh, sorry. So you'll see it's just this kind of like raspberry liquid. This is the one that I like. It's from a little like local grocery store in LA. And you put like, I don't know, 10, I put like 10 drops under my tongue, let it absorb, and you're good to go. Oh my gosh, I'm still like making messes over here. Uh, but this is really important because B12 helps create red blood cells, nerves, even DNA. So if you're pregnant, it's especially important that you're getting uh, your daily dose of B12. No health video could ever be complete without mentioning green juice. Look how insanely green this juice is. I make these myself and I sock them up. That way I always have one for almost every day. I think I usually have it about four or five days out of the week. And I got these little containers on Amazon and I do have my own juicer. I will show you guys. I keep her in here. There she is. And it is a little bit of a pain to juice your own juice and to clean it, but the benefits outweigh the struggle. Am I right? Green juice is literally the healthiest drink on the planet. There is nothing better in liquid form that I know of that you can put in your body than green juice. So yes, I know it is a little expensive, but if you do make it yourself and invest in the juicer, it's not as bad. I wanna say it costs about $4 a bottle. But if you're anything like me and you don't really like greens, like I really don't, I don't really eat salads. I like broccoli maybe a little bit, but 
for the most part. I'm not like a greens person, so this is my way of getting in my greens. Oh, and also I just need to say, if you are going to juice your own juice, make sure that you're storing it in airtight containers and that you're only keeping it for about five to six days max. And even that is a little bit dangerous because bacteria can grow in unpasteurized juice. I'm sure a lot of you guys know this. So make sure that the lids are airtight and make sure to put a good amount of lemon juice in there because lemon juice can actually help prevent oxidation and stabilize the juice a little bit more. So I put like literally a lemon in every single bottle so I know when you see it written out like that exercise every single day it might seem a little bit daunting like really you expect me to go to the gym every single day are you crazy I just don't look at it that way I don't think exercising equals you know vigorous vigorous activity I think exercising is anything that gets your heart rate up continuously so for me, most days I will just go for a walk, maybe a hike, maybe a bike ride, maybe a Pilates class. I have to really switch it up because if anything starts feeling too routine or robotic, like I just check out. So it's all about just getting your heart rate up. So my favorite doctor, Dr. Michael Greger, he highly, highly recommends that everybody takes turmeric or eats turmeric on a daily basis and so naturally I listen to him because I think he is a literal genius. Uh, if you're not familiar with his work, he wrote a best-selling book called How Not to Die and it's very, very <laughs> informative and I've read it and so if he swears by this, I'm going to listen to him. He says that studies have shown that it is very effective at preventing and even treating cancer. It has very high uh, anti-inflammatory properties. It's just really like a super supplement, root, whatever you wanna say. So I take one of these every single day. So it's a little weird, but these days I really don't eat lunch. Instead of lunch, I eat two very high calorie snacks. One thing that I just made for this week that I'll share with you guys is hummus and carrots. I made this hummus myself. It is a sun-dried tomato hummus, turned out really, really good. Also, I feel like it's very important to get in your daily dose of beans. I try to have two to three servings of beans a day, whether it's like literal beans or blended beans like hummus or pressed beans like tofu. I'm just really trying to get in more of my legumes. So I'm gonna have this little snack and I'll see you guys for the next tip in a minute. Hydration, okay? I think we all know at this point in our lives how important hydration is, but I'm still gonna remind you because it is that important. So I like to follow the half weight rule, which is where you're supposed to take your weight, divide it by two, and that's how many ounces of water you're supposed to have every single day. So I try to have about six glasses of water. Water or something that I consider to be even better than water, which is hibiscus tea. I like to have chilled hibiscus tea because it is the beverage, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it is the beverage with the most antioxidants on the planet. At least that's widely available. I'm sure there's something else that's more powerful, but you can't get in the grocery store. So I keep a pitcher in my fridge of hibiscus tea and I'll probably have like two glasses of this a day. It's honestly so refreshing. And even though there's no sugar or any like intense flavoring in it, I kind of feel like I'm like drinking Kool-Aid. <laughs> Just because it's like this like bright red color. Um, so I will have a biscuit tea or I will have uh, just plain water. And one thing that I do really want to take a moment to preach to you guys about is clean water, okay? Tap water, I don't care what anyone says, is not clean water. You need to make sure at the very least that you are filtering your water because the city chlorinates water, there's fluoride in the water. They do all of these things to help prevent us, you know, to kill off like pathogens and whatnot because it's kind of a better safe than sorry approach. But that doesn't mean that the water is clean. Like I had a moment where I got really into testing water and now I'm like a major water snob. Let's just say that. I don't want to scare you guys, but just make sure that you're drinking clean water. 
So my second snack of the day is almost always, always nuts and seeds. So I actually keep all of my nuts and my seeds in my refrigerator, which some people might think is weird, but I swear on everything, it keeps them fresh and makes them taste way better. So I have all the seeds back there and the nuts right here. Today I'm thinking I'm gonna do walnuts and pumpkin seeds. Now, I realize that a lot of people when they follow a kind of like vegan or more plant-based diet, they tend to say that they do high carb, low fat. Oh wait, side note, sometimes I will also do some nut butter instead of literal nuts. So I have like this sunflower seed butter that I really like, very high in vitamin E, which is like the beauty vitamin, really good for your skin and your hair and your nails. Um, peanut butter, almond butter, a little bit of tahini. So yeah, um, back to what I was saying about plant-based diets. So a lot of people that follow plant-based diets tend to say that high carb, low fat is the way to go. And I just wanna put it out there that I am not on a high carb, low fat diet. I think, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't wanna talk too much smack on the people that follow that kind of diet, but I think that having more fat in the diet is actually beneficial because it really stabilizes the blood sugar. Now, you need to make sure that the fat is coming from a good source, so nuts, seeds, beans, avocado, a little bit of dark chocolate, you know, those are good sources of healthy fat that I think play a vital role in a healthy diet. But the high carb low fat, you know what? I just, I can't get into that. Now, if you're like 95% of America and you eat your fair share of processed food, then it's probably safe to say that your microbiome or your gut bacteria is off balance. Essentially, that means that like the ratio of your good guys to bad guys in your gut is off. I know it might not seem like a big deal, you might think you're healthy, you might feel fine, but poor gut health can ruin so many aspects of your life. So I'm sure you guys all know about probiotics at this point. That is something that is very common these days. Um, but I thought I would share how I take probiotics and just kind of my thoughts on them in general. So I've always been a little wary, honestly, because these probiotics are made in a lab, isolated in a lab. If you look on the packaging, you'll actually see they're 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 copyrighted. Like the, the labs are creating specific strains of bacteria that they're then copywriting. And it, you know, I don't know. Something about that scares me a little bit, but I also want to keep my gut health in check. And I know that it's gone through years of abuse from eating tons of sugar or taking antibiotics and all of that. So once a week or maybe once every two weeks, I try to take one of these probiotic shots. Now, I originally thought these were only made out of dairy and I was shocked to realize that they do have non-dairy options. So this one that I like is blueberry and it's made from fermented rice. And why I prefer these, and I mean, they are really expensive. It's ridiculous, like $30 for a pack of six, which is why I only take like one a week. Um, why I prefer these over pills is I just can't help but wonder when I look at those pills if anything is alive in there. You know, like when you're getting this, it's stabilized in kind of like a food source. So I just feel more confident that the bacteria is alive. <laughs> I don't know. I absolutely have to get outside for at least 20 to 30 minutes every single day to just absorb the sun's rays. So I usually come out here, I put a blanket down, I bring my book, and I just sit here and I absorb the benefits that the sun has to offer. Sun exposure uh, boosts serotonin, which is considered the happiness hormone. Uh, obviously we know that it helps our bodies produce vitamin D, which is essential to being healthy, and helps regulate sleep patterns, help treat some um, it helps treat some skin conditions such as eczema, psoriasis, acne, and in general, it just makes you feel good. So I just can't say enough about getting small doses of sunlight. 
One superfood that I think is quite possibly the most underrated superfood on the planet is algae or algae oil. So I originally started thinking about this because I was like, why is everybody so hype on fish oil? It seems like fish oil has been like uh, used for beauty, used for health. Like everybody's all about the fish oil. And I really started thinking about it and I'm just like, isn't the fish oil only nutritious because the fish are consuming algae? Like, doesn't it make more sense just to consume the source? Like, get, get the nutrients from the source instead of diluting it through another living creature? But I've been taking these for quite some time now, and I love them because obviously, you know, being high in omega-3, they're good for heart health, they're good for improving your memory, your vision, and if you're pregnant, it's especially important to have these, um, have the uh, DAJ. I'm sure if you're pregnant, you already know about this, so I don't know why I'm telling you guys, but if you're pregnant, it's very important to have DHA because it helps with the development of your child. But uh, on a more like vanity level, you could say, these really help, I feel, with your skin and your hair. I feel like I have really, really dry skin, typically, and dry hair, and I feel like it has really helped my skin look a little bit more supple. Maybe it's in my head, I don't know, but I swear that my skin definitely has improved since making this a part of my daily routine. So you may have noticed a trend with me and my food choices. It's pretty much all about efficiency these days. I do live alone, so I really just don't have it in me to spend a lot of time prepping food. However, for dinner, I do like to enjoy myself a nice gourmet homemade meal. However, I do meal prep. So this week I made a like tofu broccoli rice casserole. Doesn't sound that great, but honestly, it's really good and really filling and I've just been really enjoying it. So you see, I just heated up in my little mini oven. It looks so good. There's some little mushrooms in there too, you can see. I feel as if meal prepping is really important because let's face it, oftentimes we end up turning to takeout or junk food, some kind of quick fix because we're hungry now and we're too lazy to spend you know, 30 minutes to an hour prepping something in the kitchen. So when you make food like this, and I especially like making casseroles and soup and things that warm up really well, you are giving yourself a bit of an insurance policy that you're gonna eat well for the week. Buki. <laughs> you want to be on the camera? It's not time for bed. Did I get you excited? <laughs> yeah. One thing that's extremely important to me is learning something every single day. So I really like to try to learn at least five new things every single day, whether it's from reading, which I do try to read every single day, uh, maybe watching some kind of scientific video clip. I just like staying up to date with what's happening in the world, not so much with current events, I mean, I do dabble in that too, but more like progression. I like focusing my, when it comes to media at least, I like focusing my attention on things that are progressing, not things that are kind of tearing the world down because so much good is happening every single day, especially in the field of science. All the discoveries we're making, it's just so fascinating and I wish it was more of a focal point in the media. I have a ridiculously bad sweet tooth, so keeping my dessert healthy has been a huge, huge struggle for me. I just, mm, I can think of a million sweets that I would really like to have right now, but I almost always stick to berries, usually strawberries, especially because they're so good right now. I keep the berries in my fridge like this, and then I will pair it with some really dark chocolate, which yes, isn't like super, super tasty, but it's really good for you because it's super high in antioxidants, super high in iron, which is quite difficult to get on a plant-based diet. 
And uh, this is the one that I typically will eat. It is 90% cocoa. So similar to how I like to start my day off by looking in the mirror and saying something positive, I like to end my night with positivity as well. I keep what I call a gratitude journal where I will just write five things every single night to be thankful for. It could be something simple like the love of Buki or it could be something a little bit more, you know, intense like the ability to pull air into my lungs. It just really helps me go to sleep on a really positive note and think about the things that I should be grateful for that I don't think about enough. Well guys, that is it. That is everything that I've been attempting to do on a daily basis to achieve optimum health. I definitely do not do all of these things every day, but it has been the goal and I hope that it delivered you guys some sort of inspiration to step up your game because let's face it, in modern life, there is a lot of temptation, okay? Like endless temptation that's both poisoning our bodies and our minds. So even if you can follow this a little bit and it's inspired you a little bit, I'm really happy to have played that role in your life. Um, so that's it for this video. Thanks again to today's sponsor for Sigmatic. Be sure to check them out. I'm going to put all of their info down here. And if you want to snag that 15% off of your first order, then be sure to click on this specific link right down here. And be sure to check out the site because it's so interactive and beautiful. They have this video that shows the brand's story and process. And also in general, the site is just really easy to navigate. So you click on this link and you can see all of the products. And then you can filter by product type, caffeine, benefits. So for instance, if you want something for the morning, you're gonna select productivity and energy, maybe get a drink with lion's mane. But if you want something to help you chill at night, if you have trouble sleeping like me, uh, you're gonna wanna go with maybe this hot cacao with reishi because it really helps you relax so you can get in that beauty sleep. And speaking of beauty, I notice they have a new golden latte with shiitake. I am dying to try that one. But okay, Buki is really wanting to cuddle, so I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you really soon. Bye.